If you'll indulge for a moment my rhyming motif, I'd like to tell you a tale of a place called the Reef. The entire Coral Kingdom is a delight to the senses. Alas, that is not where our story commences. We're used to blue water. This water would spook us. It's the color of phlegm, or possibly mucus. And the salty sea spray that wafts on the breeze is like the stuff that comes out of your nose when you sneeze. In this polluted and ominous swill. There's one little fish of unusual skill who would one day meet a most incredible fate, full of fighting, romancing, becoming live bait. I know it boggles the mind and it beggars belief, but that's the wee lad who would one day say the reef. have anything against your cousin Pearl, except she's nuts. But that doesn't mean I want to live next door to her. But Pike, it's safe on the reef. There's no fishing. The water's clean. But honey, I love Boston. What's the big attraction? Is it the gill nets, the medical waste, the industrial pollution? Hey, it's never hurt me. Oh, please, Pike. Sweetie, you're so full of mercury, I could stick your tail in my mouth and take my <laughs> honey, temperature. you're exaggerating. The water here is perfectly healthy. Hey, Pike. Morning, Bob. Honey. And what if Pike grows up to have three eyes? Cool. Okay. But think of the cultural opportunities here. In Boston Harbor, Pike can meet fish from all over the world. Oh, like those salmon. What a classy bunch they were. All of them talking about how they just couldn't wait to get upriver and... S-P-A-W-N. Spawn! <laughs> What did I tell you about using language like that? I'm sorry. Oh, you're growing up so fast. Go play. Your father and I need to talk. Okay. But don't go too far. Pike. <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. I'm just passing through. We're migrating. You're lucky. I wish I migrated. We never go anywhere. You're a dolphin, right? I'm a porpoise. Why does everyone think I'm a dolphin? Percy, we're getting ready to leave. Oh, hello, Mom. This is, uh... Hi, where are you? Oh, that's my mom. I gotta go. Nice meeting you. Mom, Dad, I met a porpoise! Hi, what did I tell you about talking to strangers? You have to be careful, son. There's some weird fish in the sea. Boy, I'll say, you wouldn't believe some of the weirdos you see around here. Bob, don't help me. Hey, watch it! Hey, what's the rush? There's a net! Net? Swim! What are we gonna do, Pike? Swim! Swim as fast as you can! What is it? Swim, Pike!
You can do it! <laughs> wow! He's big! Cool! Wow. Hey! Hello there! Not painful when I eat you. Pelican gonna swallow you whole. Woo hey, what the? Bad fishy! Brilliant! You sure you won't come with us? I wish I could, Purse, but I promised my mom. There you go, dear. Just follow those stones and they'll take you right to the reef. i never forget your help, Mom. So long, Purse. So long, mate. It was a 55 foot trawler, and they was using a three prong titanium steel hook on 45 pound stress tested monofilament. I must have played them for three hours before the line finally snapped and they got away. 55 foot trawler, right. Oh, like I haven't heard that one before. I tell you, that boat gets bigger every time he tells a story. Excuse me. What's the matter, boy chick? You lost? How's that? What'd he say? He say he's lost, you deaf Marlin! Actually, I'm looking for my Aunt Pearl. You're looking for a squirrel? No, no, Pearl! He's looking for the crazy lady! Oye, come here. She lives right down there, Chico. Thank you. Right, darling, work with me. Now take it to the edge. Yes, take it to the edge. Take it right to the edge. You're right at the edge. Ah, bring it back. Bring it back. Oh, yes. Oh, magnifique. Who is that? Who is that? That's Cordelia, dude. Where have you been? I just got into town. Ah, welcome to the scab, dude. Perhaps you should wear it up. Oh yes, sleek, sophisticated. Like Audrey Hepburn, only better with scales. <laughs> she's beautiful. Oh yeah, she's a model. She's been on the cover of National Geographic. Twice. Don't look over here. Don't look over here. Ignore me. Ignore me. Look at me. Look at me. I've got a meter. Whoa there, newbie. Take my advice and worship from afar.
No, 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 no! You've ruined my shot! Buffoon! Buffoon! Can we please keep the local riffraff out of my shot? Is that too much to ask? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's your good side. That is a wrap, people! I don't blame you, mon cher. You were sublime, as always. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Bellissima. Ciao. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to mess things up back there. Don't worry about it. They'll be back. Oh, cool. Cool. So, I'm Pi. I'm new in town. Really? I couldn't tell. Yeah, I just swam in from Boston. Boston? That's a long way. Well, you know, pretty strong for my size. Check these muscles. <laughs> Hands off the merchandise! <laughs> hey, easy, man! Cute and funny. What did you say your name was? Um, Pi. Well, Pi from Boston. Welcome to the reef. Dude, she actually talked to you! That's fully the most awesome thing I've ever... Scene. <laughs> Cordelia, look out! Dude, don't! He's a shark! <laughs> Hello, fellas. Hey, hey, somebody help Here you me. go, Mr. Crab. Oh, thank you so very much. I have been wrong side up all day, and it has been most uncomfortable. Oh! <laughs> You taste like tuna! You are what you eat. <laughs> You're disgusting, Troy. Why can't you leave me alone? But you are alone, sweet gills. You got no family, no one to protect you from the dangers of the deep. The only danger in this part of the deep is you. Well then, all the more reason to get on my good side. You need someone to look after you. I don't need a rude, egotistical bully with a bad case of tuna breath. Back off! Pie! What'd you say? You heard me. Leave her alone. What are you gonna do about it, chum? Um, gonna... You're gonna? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna take a little trip <sighs> through my digestive system. <laughs> Ow. Man, you're getting chunky, see? Used to be easy to stuff you into this hole. We're gonna have to find a bigger hole for a skinnier nerd. <laughs> no more beating up bedwetters. Ew, I'm grossed out. Let's get out of here. Nobody goes into my hole. Nobody. I can pick my own nose. Forget about him. He doesn't know what he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that tends to happen when you get smacked in the head. <laughs> oh, hey. You're a coward, Troy. You only come to the reef because we're small and easy to push around. Why don't you try this act out there, in the open sea, where there's fish as big as you? I got a soft spot, Cordelia, for fine-looking fish like you. But don't push me too far. I'm Troy. Oh. Ah. Ah. Who's the shark who's more bite than bark? Troy. Troy! Who's faster than a beam of light? Who's got the teeth that are pearly white? Troy! Troy. Who gets the applause cause he's got the jaws? Who can do what he wants just because? Who ain't afraid of no lobster claws? Troy. Troy! Hey! That's me! I'll be back when you're done playing mommy to that little hunk of bait. Vamanos! You got fully thrashed, dude! Huh? Axed, hemoed, smeared, creamed, obliterated, flattened, murdered, wipe out! That wasn't the smartest thing I've ever seen. He hit me when I wasn't looking. There's only one dangerous place on the reef, and that's between Troy and whatever he wants. Go home and take care of yourself. <laughs> Cordelia! Troy is my problem, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt on my account. But... Busy first day, dude. Yeah. Listen, I've got to find my Aunt Pearl. She's supposed to be this weird kind of new age fortune teller type. Sort of cuckoo, you know, crazy. Basically insane. You don't happen to know her, do you? Yeah, dude. She's my mom. Um... I see it! Yes! Uh, 
Oh boy, that doesn't look good. What do you see? Will my dreams come true? Well, that depends. On what? Do your dreams involve sitting on a sink next to a bottle of dishwashing liquid? This can't be! My cousin's a loofah! She's exfoliated some of the most prominent backsides around! But I get to scrub pots? No! Curse you, Starcross Destiny! <laughs> Sponges, they're all so emotional. At least he's not sucking on a clamshell all day. Just try to make you look pretty. Sorry, I... Edge. Dude, Dylan. Oh, Pi, you made it. You knew I was coming? Of course, darling. While meditating, my astral form achieved a transcendent communion with none other than the spirit of the sea. And it revealed to me a vision of your arrival. Yeah, and a passing porpoise mentioned you were in the neighborhood. Then you know what happened to my parents. Oh, Pi, I'm so sorry, but I think they're in a better place now. Yeah, and a sushi bar. Can it, starfish? Don't hurt me! The reef is where you'll find your destiny, honey. Give me a fin, I'll tell your fortune. Oh, fish. Wow! Boy, let's see chapter two. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, I can't wait to see how this ends. Here comes the full-on dorsal fin probe. Mm -hmm. I don't really believe in that stuff. But Pi, you've got to believe. The reef is a place where dreams come true. <laughs> Unless you happen to be a sponge. Oh. Now Pi, the reef is paradise. And you can go anywhere you want. But <gasps> stay away from the old wreck. It's haunted by dead pirates. Cool. And most important of all, we never, ever, ever go to Flat Bottom. What's Flat Bottom? It's a place we never go. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom, you're not <laughs> going out in public like that, are you? I like to have a little star quality. Plus, it gives me more height and helps to de-emphasize my <clears throat> tail fin. I'm going to need some time to freshen up first. I got like five armpits over here. Oh! Your seahorses. Is that Ricky Marlin? No, mother, it isn't. No, huh? But almost. Oh, hello, Dr. Tang. Oh. Huh? He's a very prominent sturgeon. You see why I always try to look my best? You never know who you might meet. <laughs> what do you think? What? No. Huh? No, no, it clashes with the beer can. I think it looks better over here. <laughs> You're crushing my creative instinct. Check out the bling bling on this thing. Oh, hello, you. Oh, two. like J-Lo jellyfish. Oh, crazy. Looking oh. good, girlfriend. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Two is such fresh fish. Don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, clams. I'm late for my healing crystal seminar at oh, the Monkfish my. Monastery. So, Dylan, I want you to introduce Pi around, okay? Yeah, sure. Thanks, sweetie. Dude. No PDPA, remember? PDPA? Public displays of parental affection. Excuse me, sir. I'm not proud. Oh. Dude, that was totally feebish. You can't be that big a feeb and expect to hang out with How me. How big a feeb can I be? Well, you can't be more than 30% feeb and no more than 15% dork. Hey. What's that? That's the old pirate ship. Cool. Come on. Oh, no. No way. Oh, wait, it's totally off limits. Dude, I, I... Man, don't you listen. You're not afraid of ghosts, are you? No! I'm not afraid of anything! But dude, there's a totally spooky turtle that lives in there. A spooky... turtle? Uh, no. No, yeah, no. Yeah, but he's a wizard turtle. He's like a... And he really doesn't like visitors. Dude! Oh, fish. Okay, can we please just go, please? Him, you see, that's Nerissa. Can we please not do that again? So, dude, 
You think you're gonna see that, Cardelia? Ugh, not if she sees me first. Don't be negatory, bro. I think she really liked you. She thinks I'm an idiot. True. Well, maybe she likes idiots. You know, it's kind of like having a friend and a pet at the same time. So how bad is the shark problem around here? Well, reef's too shallow for most sharks, but Troy comes around. Wee! Fun for me. Him and his buddies. Why? Oh, cause he's got a thing for Cordelia, dude. Don't you listen? His buddies come mostly to stuff my head into a lobster hole. Yeah, like nobody's thought of that before. Uh-oh. What is it? Flat bottom. It's the open sea. Why is everyone so afraid of this place? I'm not afraid. But we're outside the wildlife sanctuary, you see? And and and, and, and this is where the humans come with their nets and their and their hooks and their sharp things. Oh. The net! Oh no. Haven't you ever seen a lure? Of course you haven't. There's no fishing on the reef. This must have been carried here by the current. What do I do? Don't worry. Let's go find somebody who can help. We need some help over here! Trent and Santa girlfriend. We got emergency. Look! Oh, honey, that is so not you. I tell you, these kids today with their extreme sports and their piercings. Guys, it was an accident. I thought it was a smelt in distress. You were supposed to, honey. Good likeness. Looks like a smelt I knew back in San Francisco. Oh, what a weekend that was. Oh, no. Not this story again. Can you take it out? Absolutely. But you're going to have to help me big time. Me? Okay. You lay back like I'm giving you a nice pedicure. Now, what I need you to do, take her fin. That's right. And honey, I want you to look in his eyes. Okay? Okay, now this isn't going to hurt me. You're going to be a big, brave girl. I will. She will. She will! <laughs> How do you feel? Okay, I think. I guess I was more scared than hurt. But I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't been there, by. How'd you wind up down here? I made a promise. Or maybe it's destiny. Um, there's a big show tonight at the amphitheater. Normally I'd skip it, but thought... Well, if... you want to go... Bong bong! Bong bong! <laughs> we got it! <laughs> Getting and keeping are two different things. Back off! Before you get hurt! Mm -hmm. Got a date with Cordelia, cause you're a big bad fish, yeah. Zip it, Harry Codfish Jr. Where have you been? I was hiding out. From who? Squidnappers. They're trying to steal Nerissa's blue pearl, buddy boy. Well, come on. Dude! Fish. Now, I'm no fortune teller, boys, but I can predict three things that aren't gonna happen. You see, I'm not gonna get hurt. I'm not gonna back off, and you three aren't leaving here with that pearl. We've gotta do something, dude. Getting beat up once a day ain't good enough for you? There's three of them! Get him! Oops. Hey, come back here. Ah, trick or treat. Huh? 
I got the sauce right here. I'm not afraid to use it. Soup turtle. Such big heads, such tiny brains. Whoa, turtly awesome. Oh, Whoa. let's go. <laughs> that old turtle's unbelievable. You boys saw uh, Narisha? Speak up, sir. We saw Narissa fight some squids. He was amazing. Of course. That's why they call him El Macho Tortuga. <laughs> Man, he's got the moves for an old coot. Oh, sorry about that, old coots. Huh? He said old coot. I did not, too. Why don't you accuse Manny for once? He blasts out more bubbles than a scuba diver. What'd you say, man? Hold up a second. What'd you say? That's it, viejo loco. I've had enough of your insults. Anga! Oh, God! Spirit of the Sea, we ask your help in contacting Uncle Phil. He was last seen talking. La 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 la. Sure. I'm not listening. I'm not listening to this. La 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 la. What are you doing? Dude, you saw what was going on down there. My mom with all her voodoo mumbo jumbo. Those seances are totally embarrassing. You know what? I think you're right. I think swimming through the middle of the room going la 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 is much more dignified. So what's that thing your mom's always staring at? Oh, that's the pearl my dad gave her. You know the old saying, give a girl a pearl. Why would anyone want to give a girl a pearl? Because if she accepts it, it means you'll be together forever. Anyways, my mom thinks hers is magic. Hey, that's what those squids were trying to steal from Narissa. A pearl. Hey, you don't think he's going to ask some girl to marry him, do you? Oh, gross. No, dude. He's like 200 years old. That's disgusting. <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's showtime! <gasps> Welcome to the Reef Amphitheater. We are proud to present the Caribbean's most famous adventurer, who is here tonight to tell the thrilling tales of his encounters with the sea's most fearsome creatures. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Thornton and his backup prawn, the Kimchis! <laughs> Make you all gasp with just an average story. Well, even my typical tales are scary and gory. But I know the adventure you're aching to hear. The most stupendous and horrendous battle of my entire career. It had two mouths, and on each mouth, a sneer! It had two heads, and looked like a giant brassiere! I faced a sea monster, but I didn't make tracks! I stood face to face, and fought off on attacks! And I know that you'll want to get all of the facts, so stick a fin in your ear and dig out the wax! It was a monstrous sea monster, the size of a tanker. What did you do? I capsized and sank her. And then were you through? Not a bit. She was brawny and strong as an anchor. I had to get tough. I tickled. 
and spanked her. What an amazing sight! When it was over, I thanked her because I am always polite. I'm fairly certain this guy's full of blowfish. I hear you say but, and you say tut tut. Things are not always what they appear. I may have grey whiskers and an oversized rear. It's funny too much. Are you mad? You'll ruin me! It's a big, bulging, billowing, blubber-stuffed rope! It's bigger by far than a humpback will talk! Hello! Oh. Hey, Gads! Bring up the music! Hit it, the boys! Quickly! Go, Thornton! Oh. You're the youngest! Go, Thornton! <laughs> You're the youngest! <laughs> that was an amazing story. It's getting late. I guess I better go. No, wait. Don't go. Not yet. Well, I... Hey. Have you ever been to the surface? No. Come on. See that set of stars over there? That's called the Big Dipper, and that over there is the Little Dipper. I had no idea. And up there is Leo, and next to it, Jim and I. And see that one over there? Well, that's me. Huh? Those stars are called Pisces. Pi is short for Pisces. Beautiful. Here. Hurry, Cordelia! <laughs> you better be scared. Well, hello! Go, Pi, leave me! I won't! No! <gasps> <laughs> leave him alone! Uh, well, now, I'm confused, baby, because I thought you wanted to be left alone, and yet I find you swimming around with that piece of chump. It's none of your business what I do, Troy. You don't own me. I'm a tiger shark, baby. I own whatever I can take, and I take whatever I want. <laughs> Troy! Uh, can I oh, even please me? Oh. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, a money. Troy! Oh, what the heck? Why don't you each just take half? No! Ah. Troy, if you let them do this, I'll never forgive you. Forgiveness? I don't need your stinking forgiveness. <laughs> please, please! If you don't hurt him, I'll do anything. Like anything, anything? If you leave Pi alone, and promise never to come to the reef again, then I'll... Uh, I'll... Yeah? Accept your pearl. No! Hey! Ow! Let our little chum go. Uh. Cordelia, you can't. I will be back at the next full moon. <laughs> Wait till you see the pearl I'm gonna bring you, little girl. <laughs> You'll change your mind about me then. Vamanos! So baby, when I get back, be ready. Well, I got 30 days to live it up and partay! Who's yeah. the hot shot who can't be caught? Troy! Pie! Who's twice as mean as an Troy! Oh, Pie. What could I do? You know the rules of the sea. You can't leave a man adrift like that. Ow. My head. Yeah. That wouldn't be so hasty, kid. That shark did quite a number on your sorry tail. How did I get here? Well, the currents brought you here and dumped you outside. If it wasn't for your pretty lady friend... Cordelia! Is she all right? She spent the night bawling at your side. I finally had to send her home to get some peace and quiet around here. I've got to stop her. She's going to accept Troy's pearl. I'm sorry, kid. 
She seemed very determined to go through with it. Then I'll stop Troy. You're gonna stop a tiger shark. Is that what just came out of your mouth just now? <sighs> yeah. You're right. Determined women and tiger sharks. You don't pick easy fights, do you, kid? Well, what about you? I ain't helping you with your love life, kid. Forget it. Everybody says you're a wizard. Oh, do they now? Yeah, and I saw you beat those squids. Three of them at once? You totally rocked! Can you help me fight Troy? Go fight your own battles, kid. Please. Haven't you ever been in love before? I'm sorry. Boy, chick. Why the long face? I bet it's about a girl. Did you say Pearl? Actually, that's my problem. The girl I like, Cordelia, she's gonna accept Troy's Pearl. That Troy's a punk! Why, back in my day, we, we knew how to handle sharks like that. Ay, caramba, here we go again. You never fought a shark, Jack. Oh, yes, I did. Took on a 25-foot hammerhead back in 71. Really? Yep. Poked him right in the keister. Right where the sun never shined. Ha <laughs> ha. He'll never forget me, I guarantee you that. I wouldn't put a whole lot of stock in what Jack says, Chico. You calling me crazy? You questioning my credibility, boy? For about the tenth time today. Yes! All right, that's it. Put him up. Lunga! Wow! Hey, would you guys help me fight Troy? Get the sea kelp out of your mouth, son! Speak up! He wants us to, to fight the shark? Um... Ay, ay, ay! My back! Man, these cartilage cramps are killing me! Ugh. Well, you see, we're what you call past our prime. Past our prime? When we're old and feeble and over the hill! We're nearly buried, boy chick! Listen, fighting, it's its a young man's game. You, you need someone with a little more oomph to a swim, if you know what I'm talking about. Someone more robust and sporting. Thornton? What about Thornton? That's it. Someone more like Thornton. Thornton? Ah. Well, what have I got to lose? Did I ever tell you boys about the time I freed Willie? Ay, caramba. <sighs> Now, there is one minor change I want to make to the act. There will be no further references to my rear end. <laughs> you will cease comparing its size and appearance to A, a tugboat, B, the planet Jupiter, or C, Mr. Thornton? You're a little early for the show, my boy. My girl's engaged to a shark. <laughs> shark? Where? Where? My girl's engaged to <laughs> a shark. <laughs> Your girl's engaged to a shark. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. He's gonna take Cordelia away. I need your help. Will you fight him? You want me to fight a shark? You've come unhinged, lad! I thought you fought a sea monster as big as an oil tanker. Who said that? You did? Last night? I did? Oh, yes. That's right, I did. Yes. But you see, that doesn't count because I said it in rhyme. That is what we call poetical license. You mean you lied? Well, I, 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 I may have exaggerated for dramatic effect. <laughs> and anyway, I, I'm sure I said it was more the size of a kayak. Thanks for nothing. Don't worry, lad. There's plenty more fish in the sea. <laughs> ah. Well, would you fight a shark? You're nothing but a big loony, that's right. Mm. <laughs> nah. All right. I got the most beautiful girl on the reef. Now I just gotta find the most beautiful pearl. But Troy, finding something like that could take months. Yeah. <laughs> if we were morons. Who's got the best one on the reef? Hey, Narissa. He has a blue pearl. It's the only one on the whole reef, see? Perfect. Go get it, bring it back, problem solved. 
They say he's kind of tough, this Narissa. Are you telling me that you are not tougher than a do 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 turtle? Well, uh, who can part the sea like Charlton Heston? Troy. Who's tougher than you all, even when he's just resting? Troy. Troy. Who's gonna do what I say or find themselves in my large intestine? Uh, us? That's right! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Pie! I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! Dylan, what are you doing? Dude, you are my idol! Dude, don't play dumb with me, man. You didn't come home last night from your hot date with Cordelia. But don't worry, I got you covered with mom. So, details, please. I got beat up by Troy and Cordelia agreed to accept his pearl. What? She agreed to accept Troy's pearl if he stopped pummeling my head. So the date didn't go well? Not exactly. Duck! I don't feel good about this. Dude, what the- Shh! Everyone says the old turtle is a wizard. They say the old shipwreck he lives on is haunted with ghosts. Uh, it sounds spooky. Yeah! You know what you are? You're a disgrace to vicious predators, see? If Troy tells us to go steal Narissa's pearl, then we go steal Narissa's pearl, you got it? Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Okay, Magellan, which way's the shipwreck? It's this way. Out! Wrong way, dummy! Whew, that was close, dude. Come on, we gotta warn Narissa. Dude! Oh, fierce. Dude! Narissa! Narissa! Oh well, no one's home. We tried. Bye bye! Narissa! Oh, Dude, nobody's here. And if they are, they don't want to be disturbed. Let's just go. Uh oh. Well, look who we got here. Oh god. No! Let go of me! Alright, stupid. First we get them, then the pearl. Oh, oh. Hey. We're coming for you, chum! Ow. Ow. Oh. Hey, they're down there! Come on! Oh. Bart! Come on, dummy! Oh. Oh. I don't like this. Stop your whining! No, come on, let's go, let's go, we gotta go. No! We can't let them get Narissa's pearl. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, don't freak on me. I'll figure something out. Hey, what is that? It's, I don't know. bad at all. You got more nerve than I thought. Maybe I can do something about your little problem of Troy. Be here tomorrow. Sunrise. Begin your training. My what? My training? Dude, you're gonna teach Pi how to fight Troy? I'm gonna teach the kid how to defeat Troy. Sunrise! Not one second later! <laughs> cool. Dude! Pi... I can't let you go. I've heard from the ethereal netherworld, and they think this is an incredibly stupid idea. You said I'd find my destiny on the reef. Well, I did. And I'm about to lose her, just like I lost my parents. I couldn't do anything to save them. And maybe I can't save Cordelia, but Aunt Pearl, I've got to try. Kid, we're gonna take a trip through the canyon. And if you can keep up, and if you're still in one piece at the end, then we'll go on. If not, I'll send what's left of you home in a doggy bag. I can keep up. We'll see about that, kid. This is nothing. I can go twice as fast as this. It isn't what you can do on the straightaway, kid. It's the turns that'll get you. Ah the reef isn't 
just a pretty place to sightsee. It can be your best weapon, but to use it against your opponent, you gotta master it yourself! <laughs> Coral, coral, razor sharp. If you're lucky, it'll just scrape off a patch of skin. Ah! If you're unlucky, you'll get to see your old skeleton. Fire coral. One touch and I'm gonna burn a hole right through your fin. Ah! This section of the canyon is called Bottleneck Alley. Some folks find a dark and closed space disorienting. Ah! Ow! Plus, <laughs> there's a lot of rocks for them to bump their head on. Remember this place, kid. I will ask questions later. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. If we get the crazy lady's pearl, maybe Troy will forgive us. For what happened at the wreck? He already has. Are you sure? Yeah, I told him it was your fault. What? That isn't true. What's your point? You are a liar. Of course I lied. I'm an evil henchman. I am an evil henchman also. You're not evil. I am so. If you were evil, you wouldn't care about me lying. You think I'd care if you told lies about me? I, I wouldn't tell lies about you. Exactly. <laughs> because you're not evil. I'm kind of evil. So you're pretty fast and agile for a fish. I'll give you that. But still, I'm tiny compared to Troy. Yeah, and Troy's tiny compared to the sea. You learn to make the ocean work for you, and size won't matter. You get water dense enough, and it becomes a weapon. Whoa! What are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. No! What, please? Oh, I'm gonna be sick. A fish getting seasick? Oh. Now I've seen everything. Oh. No barfing on the poop deck. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I want her to wear it up. Way up for her next photo spread. That is supreme. Now tease it, tease it, tease it! You're squeezing it, I said tease it! Don't get huffy with me, crab face. I scratch your eyes up. Ach, du lieber! This is so you! I just love it! Please. Seashells were so last year. The shells are fine. Oh, honey! You look so beautiful! <sighs> no, babe, don't look so glum. I wish I had two boys fighting over me! What are you talking about? Um, um, Max, what's he talking about? Darling, you have enough on your mind. I don't want you worrying about some riffraff Romeo. The girl has got a right to know. I second that. Well, your admirer, the red one with the cute white stripe. You mean Pi? He's been working out with that crazy old wizard turtle, learning how to fight so he can beat up Troy when he comes. No. I hope it wasn't anything I said. I don't like fighting. I like loving. Eddie's not evil. Eddie's not evil. Shut up. I am so. See? I said shut up. That's not evil. That's just rude. Well, my mom always said rudeness is the root of all evil. Aha. I win. Evil henchmen don't talk about their mothers. No. All right, playtime's over. I've shown you ways to confuse and trap your opponent, but to stay ahead of those sharp teeth, you must train yourself to move and react faster than him. Let's see what you can do. Swim the obstacle course as fast as you can. No! Swim like your life depended on it! Because it just might. Come on, put some fish oil into it! All right now, up the mass! Over the sail! Watch out! I guess I should have explained myself. The idea of an obstacle course is to avoid the obstacles! Now if the idea was to demolish my home with your face, you'd be doing great! Try it again! But now this time, do it fast! Do it fast? Go! Hi. 
Cordelia! I can't let you do it, Pi. I make my own decisions, and I've chosen Troy. Because you love him? He promised he'd leave you and the Reef alone. Do you really believe he'll keep his promise? I have to believe it. If you can believe in him, then why can't you believe in me? <sighs> Did you hear about the kid who's gonna fight Troy? Like we don't have enough problems with Troy, this is only gonna make him matter. Exactly! And who's he gonna take it out on? Us! Well, maybe after he eats the kid, he'll feel too bloated and lethargic to chase anybody else. Good point. You shouldn't swim for at least half an hour after eating. So maybe he'll get a cramp and we can all hide. Ugh. Spirit of the sea! It's Pearl calling. Um, you know, I know it might be too much to ask that Pi actually win, though who would it hurt? But please, if everyone could at least be there for him when the time comes, well, I'd really owe you one. Percy? I had the strangest dream. Me too. Was it about Pi? Yes, I have a feeling something awful is about to happen. Not evil. I am so evil, not evil. I win. Eddie, I am your father. Join me. Oh, wait. You're not evil enough. Stop now. You know it gives me the willies. Evil henchmen don't get the willies. They give the willies. You don't have one evil scale all over you. Um, yes, we're all very <laughs> scared down here, but must you be so loud? <laughs> yeah. See? I am evil! Now let's go get that pearl! Marissa? How can you live in that old wreck? Why don't you live on the reef with everyone else? What are you, a priest? What? I... No. Good. Because I don't remember going to confession. Now listen, you think you're fast, and maybe you are. But so is Troy. I know. But the ocean's faster than both of you. Come on. broke in and stole mom's pearl. This is a bad omen, dude. Stop it, Dylan. There's nothing mystical about this. Honestly, I don't know where you get that from. We just got robbed, kids. It happens, even in the nicest of neighborhoods. I'm, uh, I'm just, um, going to clean up down here is all. <laughs> Good night. Oh, it's a sign! It's a terrible sign! My dad gave her that pearl. Hey, dude, forget all this, huh? We'll run away and find your friend Percy. We'll migrate with the dolphins. Porpoises. Whatever. I wish we could, Dill. But I made a promise. To who? Cordelia? Dude, she doesn't even want you to fight Troy. Maybe not, but... If I break my word, she'll have to go off with Troy. And I'll have to live with that. Pie, I take back what I said before. You're 100% non-dork. Oh, dude, sorry. I, I, that was the uncoolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's a... And you're 99% feed-free. What's that, Captain? 
How am I supposed to know what's wrong with him? Maybe he's one of those farm fresh fish or something. Genetic malcontents. Look, this is stupid. I thought you were going to teach me how to fight like you. I don't stand a chance. Hey! Get away from there! Don't ever touch it again. Do you understand? I I'm sorry. What's the big deal? It's the pearl I gave my wife. It's all I have left of her. It used to be folks stuck together. And then they put in the wildlife sanctuary and everybody forgot what it was like to be hunted. When my wife got hooked out on flat bottom, I begged for help. But nobody came. They all hid on the reef where it's safe. I'm sorry. Listen, kid. I never told you I'd teach you how to fight the shark. I never would, because you'd never win. Then what? I told you I'd teach you how to defeat him. But how? With your brain. Now use it. What's stronger than Troy? Bigger, faster. The sea? But what's to stop him from using it against me? Troy always picks on folks who are smaller and weaker. He's never had to learn about things bigger than himself. I understand how to use all this to avoid Troy. But how do I defeat him? You offer something he wants, and then give him something he doesn't want. You're shark bait, kid, like it or not. And the reef's the hook! <laughs> hey, boy chick. Hey, Mo. You look limper than a slice of lox. Hey, I guess he's being pretty tough on you, huh? Yeah. He was always like that, the Vildahaya. You know him? Narissa? Ah, oh, sure. We were all of us pretty close back before his, uh... Well, that's a long story. You better go back to bed, boy chick. If I know that old title, tomorrow's only gonna be Weiss. Listen, Pi. If you get a chance, you tell Narissa... You, you, you tell him Mo says hi, and, uh, that I'm sorry. Well, it's my last day of training. Oh, Pi, I... I see a great destiny for you, my darling. Really? Are you just making that up? What, are you kidding me? I could lose my license. You're talking to someone that read The Fin of the Cod, Father. I'm telling you, I see love, honesty, courage. You are... Destined for great things. And don't you forget it, mister. Pretty good, kid. But we still got some work to do. Unbelievable. What's that, Captain? Huh? Ha. The Captain is embarrassed for you, and he doesn't even exist! You can tell the Captain I get the point! Ah! Oh. You ready? I am? Well, you better be. You know, I just want to thank everybody here for coming to my bachelor party. I feel like the luckiest shark in the whole world. I never thought you'd be the first one to go, Squirt. So it's the old ball and chain for the little shrimp. <laughs> It'll never last. Man, I love you dudes. You know, I got the, the hottest babe on the reef, but more importantly, I got the best butts that a shark could ever have. Who's gonna have a good time tonight before the old ball and chain takes away his bite? Troy! Beautiful, huh? Cordelia. 
What are you doing here? I like to come up here because it reminds me of you. You need to make a wish. What'd you wish for? That you come to your senses before tomorrow. Show up? Model Schmodel, that brave boy has left already. No! I've got to stop him! Cordelia, wait! We should have stopped Troy a long time ago, but we were all too scared. Well, I won't let Pi throw his life away standing up for fish who won't even stand up for themselves. <gasps> Besides, if it's life or death, who can eat a whole school of salmon and still have minty fresh breath? Troy! Who ain't afraid of no fishing pole? Who makes the babes all lose control? Who can't be flushed down no toilet bowl? Troy! Well, 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 chicken of the sea. If you want to take Cordelia, you'll have to go through me first. It would be my pleasure, chum. You guys stay back, cause this one's mine. <laughs> You're just prolonging the agony! Actually, I'm postponing the agony. Uh, what's the matter, Troy? You can't keep up with a piece of chum? You are so old! Ah, dead! You gotta catch me first! Oh, here I come! Ow! Nerd! <laughs> Ooh, Elkhorn Coral! Razor Shark! I go! Fire Coral! Wouldn't want to touch that! Uh oh! Tight squeeze up ahead! Sick shark? Now I've seen everything. Welcome to Bottleneck Alley! <laughs> no! No! Troy, I can't beat you in a fight, but I can certainly outthink you. Help me! Help me! Guys, help me, please! I'm an endangered species! Cheese! Mm -hmm. Come on, guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you. Uh, that's good. No! Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Out of reef and out of luck, buddy.
What do you want? You took my mom's pearl. Give it back. Chunky boy here wants to fight. Give it back! Oh, oh, wait! Uh, ah! Bart, I'm scared! What I say about going to my hole? What I say yeah. is my hole! You gonna pay the price! He yeah. coming pitching! Wait! Oh, 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 oh my! Hey, Troy! Nobody makes those idiots look like idiots except me! Ready to go for a big ride, Troy? Portuguese Man of War! <laughs> Watch out for the tentacles! Stay back, guys! Be careful! Kid! You alright? Nerissa! Ah, oh. uh, yeah. Nerissa. I was wondering where that little squirt picked up all his moves. Too bad, Pops. Looks like you didn't live up to your legend. Huh? Huh? Come on! Oh, oh no. Uh, here, here! Uh, uh, ow! Told you! They hate this! I got on my You gotta get out of here! No! Keep your distance, Tiburon! Or we'll chop you into ceviche! What do you think you're doing? Helping out an old friend, like we should have done a long time ago. Oye, me tranquilo, get back! Get back! Get back right now! Let's go! Move it! Ha! Yes! I got you now, <gasps> chum! Put him up! Put him up! Uh, huh? What the? Huh. Have at you, Volat! <gasps> And this and there! I am largely a blubber! My rear end alone contains a fatal dose of cholesterol! He shoots! He scores! I can't move it! Perhaps we can move it together, dear. Mom! Perhaps I was robbed! Ref, I want instant replay, right now! Percy! The net! I know! Don't do this, dude! It's the only way! Pi! Be careful! Help! Troy! This is between us! Well, maybe a little squirt like you can hide on the reef. But we're in open water now. There's no way you can outrun me here. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> oh, you are dead. <laughs> Yes! Gotcha! If I'm going, I'm taking you with me! I don't think so. Potatoes are grotten! Try!
Hey. Who's gonna find himself coated in batter? Featured on seafood sampler platter. Choi! That was a fairly insane thing you all just did. Well, you know, we thought maybe you and the boy chick could use a little help. Anything for an old amigo. Oh, Dylan, my baby. Oh, I'm so proud. Mom, I... Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think you dropped this. Oh, oh, no, that belongs to my awesome mother. <laughs> oh, why, thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Nerissa. You can keep your thanks. And, uh, you can take this off my hands. But this belongs to you. A long time ago, I, I gave it to the girl of my dreams. We would have passed it on to our son if we had one. And if he turned out like you. I don't know what to say. You know what to say. I'm just not the one you need to say it to. Cordelia? Oh, Pi. Oh, that's the sweetest thing ever. I do believe in you. Cordelia. Townsfolk said, Pie, you can't possibly win. He'll swallow your head and pick his teeth with your fin. But Pie was determined. He refused to despair. And I know it's all true, for you see, I was there. <laughs>